السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم باك ويد ميجرمنت انسرتينتي اند هاو تو كوانتيفاي ميجرمنت انسرتينتي اف يو وونت تو كوانتيفاي ميجرمنت انسرتينتي يو ريلي نيد تو انكريز ذا اماونت اوف انفورميشن يو جيت اند ذات باي ريبيتينج ذا اناليسيز ميني تايمز اند يو كان كالكوليت ذا افريج اند ذن يو كان كالكوليت ستاندرد ديفيشن Standard deviation which measure the amount of variation of a set of data value. So you will repeat the analysis different times and get different results. These results should be close to the mean to be accurate. So if your results are far from the mean, far from the mean, you will get high standard deviation and that means your results are not accurate. But if you get results near close to, uh, close to the mean that means your standard deviation is low and that means your results are accurate so if your results are accurate and your standard deviation is low that means your measurement uncertainty also will be low but if your results were, were far from the mean and not accurate that means your standard deviation will be high and your measurement uncertainty also will be high that's why we will increase the amount of information we can get from repeated analysis different times then we can calculate measurement uncertainty at the end using standard deviation from each source and according to your Akin guidelines 6 to 10 times replicate are sufficient to get enough information about the variation between results how to calculate measurement uncertainty you must identify the sources of uncertainty in the measurement you will identify all sources that may affect the final results that may change the final results like measuring instrument items being measured operator skills sampling process any conditions in the environmental conditions like uh, imported uncertainties imported uncertainties from calibration certificates for any equipment used like a uh, micropipette like balances you will find calibration certificate with every of these with these equipments inside this certificate you will find measurement uncertainty you will use also these measurement uncertainties from these calibration certificates and you will add to your measurement uncertainty all sources that may affect the final results that may change the final results you will identify and then you will estimate the size of uncertainty for each source you will calculate the uncertainty from each source and individual uncertainties should be combined together to get over all uncertainty at the end all the all of these uncertainties will be combined together to get overall uncertainty to get a value that we mentioned before in the first lecture in uncertainty this value will be added to the final result to compensate all effects coming from every step of measurement after you will identify all sources of uncertainty that may affect the final result you will estimate the size of uncertainty for each of these sources there are two types of evaluation to estimate the uncertainty. Both of them will be combined together to get overall uncertainty, to get combined, combined uncertainty and then expanded uncertainty that will be added to the final results. Type A evaluation and type B evaluation. Type A evaluation by repeating the analysis different times. You will make replicate analysis of spike samples 10 times for different levels covering the ranges of concentrations can be measured by this method. You will select different levels like low level, mid level and high level and then you will make 10 replicates for each one of them. Then you will calculate average and standard deviation and uncertainty in this case equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n n number of data number of observation number of replicates that you analyze to clarify type a evaluation more by equations 
because time evaluation is the most important evaluation to evaluate measurement uncertainty, you will calculate uncertainty due to precision and due to bias. Due to precision, you will calculate pooled relative standard deviation, and due to bias, you will calculate standard uncertainty. Uncertainty due to precision, you will calculate, as we say, pooled relative standard deviation. You will make different levels covering the ranges of concentration can be measured by your method low level, mid level, and high level. It will cover all concentrations can be measured by your method. From each level you will make 10 replicates. It's better to have 10 replicates for, for each level. And then you will calculate average standard deviation standard deviation from each one of them and then you will calculate relative standard deviation for each one which is equal to as we said before standard deviation divided by mean recovery multiplied by 100 mean recovery you can get you will calculate recovery for each concentration then you can calculate mean recovery for all of these concentrations that you will make for every level then you will calculate pooled relative standard deviation which is equal to square root of relative standard deviation 1 out uh, squared multiplied by n minus 1 plus Relative standard deviation 2 squared n minus 1 plus relative standard deviation three, 2 to square 3 n minus 1 divided by n 1 minus 1 plus n 2 minus 1 plus n 3 minus 1 n which is number of, re of replicate for each level for each level and please go back for previous lectures to know how to calculate exactly relative standard deviation and pooled relative standard deviation this result you will get from pooled relative standard deviation also will be added to the combined uncertainty and after that uncertainty due to bias bias and we said bias we said before in the previous lecture bias which, which is a measure of trueness and in this case it's better to use CRM you will use CRM and you will make replicate analysis better to be 10 times for this CRM then you will calculate the average standard deviation, relative standard deviation and then you, from standard deviation you will calculate uncertainty which is equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n this is standard uncertainty but if you don't have CRM sometimes you will not find CRM for your compounds in this case you will calculate using from different levels that, that you did, you did low level, mid level, and high level and for each level you did 10 replicates calculate standard deviation, relative standard deviation and you calculate recovery here and mean recovery recovery for each concentration and mean recovery for each concentration you will select the worst recovery you will select the worst recovery using the worst recovery you will find in front of this recovery the standard deviation you will use the standard deviation for the worst recovery and you will calculate uncertainty also which is equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n at the end, you will calculate relative standard uncertainty. Relative 
standard uncertainty which is equal to standard uncertainty divided by mean recovery multiplied by 100 standard uncertainty which is uncertainty due to bias that we calculated here which is equal to standard deviation divided by square root of n mean recovery you will get mean recovery from the reflects that you will do you will calculate the mean recovery then you will calculate the relative standard uncertainty all of these uncertainties coming from precision due to uh, variation between results for different levels and uncertainty due to bias which is a measure for tones using CRM or whatever you will use the words to recovery from these different levels and relative standard uncertainty will be added to the combined uncertainty at the end by calculation of uncertainty from time A evaluation you will remove all effects coming from measuring instrument from from operator skills from items being measured, from sampling source, from your extraction steps. But type B evaluation coming from other sources than repeatability. Any source other than repeatability will be in type B evaluation, like imported uncertainties from calibration certificates, as we mentioned before. In some cases, you don't need to calculate type B evaluation because all of these sources also will be added during your work you will use micropipette during your extraction steps you will use micropipettes you will use balances and all effects coming from these sources will be added also during repeatability but it's better also to calculate type B evaluation to increase the area of uncertainty for your method Inshallah, in the next lecture, we will explain uncertainty types. It will be a very important lecture. Just follow us. And I hope, inshallah, you uh, have a knowledge, information. You increase your knowledge by these lectures. Don't forget to share this lecture for everybody to learn. And subscribe my channel to help me to continue and you can leave your comment or any question that you want to ask. Thank you and see you in the next lecture inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.